This video provides a brief introduction to the interface of the Design Points tab of the Design Points dashboard. We'll cover the following topics. Design Points table, display of the current design point, parts of the Design Points tab, chart, filters, and monitor, and available toolbar icons. First, open the dashboard by clicking the Design Points dashboard icon. The Design Points dashboard opens to the Design Points tab by default. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the interface. On this tab, you can see the Design Points table, which is populated with the design points in our study. For each design point, the table shows its input and output values, the state of its output parameters, whether each is up to date, out of date, or has failed to update, and its retained data status whether its data has been retained in the project, and whether that data is up to date and valid. The table also shows the design point that is set as current in bold text. In our example, it is design point zero. The current design point is the one shown in the graphics view. It's also the one selected in the design points drop-down menu. If you select a different design point in the drop-down menu, the change is reflected in the Design Points table. The rest of the Design Points tab interface helps you to better understand and work with your design points. For example, there is a parallel chart which shows a graphic representation of the data in the Design Points table. It shows a vertical or Y axis for each input and output parameter. There's also a set of filters which enables you to view all design points, only the design points that are up to date, or only the design points that are out of date. And there is a pie chart monitor which shows the percentage of design points that have been updated. It refreshes during design point updates so you can follow the progress of the update. Just above the table, there's a toolbar with icons for a variety of design point related tasks and operations. These two icons are visible all the time because they apply to the whole table. You can use them to update all the design points in the table or to export the table data as a CSV file. The rest of the icons are visible when at least one design point is selected. They are enabled or disabled according to your selections. For example, when you select a design point, most of the icons become enabled. Here, you can use icons to update, copy, or delete the selected design point. Note that if the current design point is selected, delete is disabled because you can't delete the current design point. Also, if the selected design point has no retained data, the set selected as current icon will be disabled because retained data is required for the current design point. So, when you select a point with retained data, the set selected as current icon becomes enabled. Note, however, that if you select multiple points, whether with retained data or without, the set selected as current icon is disabled again because only one design point can be set as current. Here, the retained selected icon can be used to toggle back and forth between retaining and not retaining data for the selected design points. And finally, these two icons enable you to export the design points you've selected. You can either export them as new AIM projects, or you can export their parameter values to a CSV file. And this concludes our introduction to the interface of the Design Points tab of the AIM Design Points dashboard.